So we had a main customer complaint of the speedometer kicking out, as well as the transmission faulting and uh, stumbling. So the first thing to do is check the codes, obviously, see what you got. And in this case, I had a whole whack load of inactive codes. Cleared them, went on a road test, verified the complaint of the speedometer going down, and uh, had the output speed sensor codes come back active. Now, of course, that's going to affect your speedometer. So the first thing to do is connect your TCM, depending on what model and year you have. Get your output speed sensor terminals. Here's your output speed sensor. Leave that connected. Connect it. Test it right at the TCM. That way, there you're testing the whole circuit. Get your reading. Now, I'm sitting at 2,500 ohms, which isn't bad. But this thing has a bad sensor because if you tap the sensor, you don't have to go too hard. Just give it a light little tap. Our reading is jump. And that's just tapping the sensor. And if you read the instant bar at the bottom of my meter, you can see every time I tap it, it's moving. So that's how we can tell if we have a bad output shaft speed sensor. Now, if it wasn't the case, and when I tap the sensor, our readings are still the same, what you'd want to do after that is just wiggle your harness right at the sensor. Move the harness, see if it moves. If you get slight movement, that's okay, but if you get a erratic movement, then you've got loose pins. And then you'll also want to go along the whole harness, wiggle the harness all the way back to the TCM while monitoring your meter. And whatever part of the harness you move and you get erratic readings, then that's a section of the harness that's bad. Pull it apart. Now, if all that's good, if all your harness is good, your sensor is good, no problem then either you got a sensor failing intermittently or you got a bad TCM. Now this TCM doesn't look to be in the best of shape but I know for sure my sensor is bad just because of what I tested but if everything's good then you most likely have a failing sensor intermittently or your TCM is bad. So in that case I would replace the sensor just because it's pretty cheap as opposed to the TCM and if it's still failing then replace your TCM and uh, that will take care of the issue.